sí, eso sí. Oh. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, it was a problem with the electricity. The power went off. So I couldn't do anything at the moment, but unfortunately, it came back. I'm so sorry for that. It was just less than a minute, but we are back. So, um, okay. So I'm so sorry about that 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 problem. So I couldn't I couldn't do anything about that, but we're finally here. So um, I was explaining to you the part of the this part. Let me see this part, right? So um, I was telling you a little bit about the. Uh, Adjectives are always providing you further information about object, size, shape, age, color, origin, or material. And there we have some examples where adjectives are acting. In the first one, as we can see there, we have, it's a big table. It's a big table. And we are talking there about the size of the table. So with this three question, what would it be the question that you will use to find the answer of the first sentence? Can someone help me? Color. With size is the table? Which size is the table? Another one? We have, remember, we have three questions. We have three Which questions. Which one? So it will be which? Yeah. Which table? Which, oh, table? which table? Which table? The big one. Que mesa? La grande, verdad? So that will give us the answer. Which table? Yeah. The big table. We're talking about size. Now let's see what the second one. It says it's a round table. And when it says it's a round table, we are talking about the shape. Una mesa redonda, okay. vea, la forma de la mesa, redonda. Okay, so with those, with these questions that we have here, which question will be the one that you will use to find what the kind? answer? What kind? Exactly, what kind of table? What kind of table? ¿Qué tipo de mesa? ¿Verdad? La redonda, the round one. Very good. Let's go with the third one. It says an old table. And there we are talking about the age. La mesa vieja, verdad? So which one of the three questions we have will help you to find out the answer? Can anybody help me? We have these three questions. Which one? I'm sorry, who said that? Which one? Which one? So we can say, which table? ¿Cuál mesa? La vieja, verdad? The old table. Which table? The old table. Thank you so much, the ones that are participating. Thank you so much. And continue with the next one. It says it's a brown table. So, which question? What's, what's what what kind of what kind of table? ¿Qué tipo de mesa? La café. Yeah. What kind of table? Um, or can we use another uh -huh. question? What what color what color of table no what, i don't know. what color 
Remember, we just have these three questions. Which one, what kind, or how many? We don't have more then, than that. Which one? The brown one. Which one? So we cannot use what kind. Porque estamos diciendo de qué tipo y de qué, what kind, it will, it will need to be, necesitaría que fuera una forma o algo que le diera a usted para saber qué tipo. But in this case, uh -huh. which one is cuál? So which one, which table in this case? Okay, the yes, brown, the brown, the brown, la brown. café. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. It's an English table. It's an English table that it's the adjective kind, there. Excellent. Who said what kind? What kind? Who said what kind? Katia. Okay. Let me see if we, if we ask the question, what kind of table? Table. What kind of table? The English one, the English one, that is correct. Thank you. So let's see, we're going to go with the last one because I, I see that you already understand how the adjective works. The adjectives are not that complicated. They are so easy to understand because as we already know, they will always give you information. And the only thing that you have to keep in mind are those three questions that we have over there. Which one, what kind, and how many? Yes, there's no more than that. Uh, do you have any questions so far or everything is clear at the moment? I wouldn't. Is it clear? Everything we don't have clear. Finished. Yes, teacher. Everything yes. clear. Perfect. So let's continue. Here is the part, some of the parts that we saw today, yesterday. I'm sorry. Do you remember about this part? The adverbs modifying adjectives. Do yes. you remember about that? So this yeah. is the part that we have, that we are going to focus on. This is the main part, because as you saw at the beginning of the presentation, we have the topic that it says, adverbs before adjective, yes? And this is the main, um, the main topic that we're going to be focused on. Just give me a moment. We're going to go with this. Now we kind of see. Let's go with this one. And this is the part that we are going to focus on. Adverbs modifying adjectives. So what do you remember about this that we saw yesterday? Let me ask someone. Let me see. Um, Reinaldo? Are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, what do you remember about this part that we saw yesterday? Um, I don't remember much. Just I'm give so me sorry. an idea or something that comes to your mind when you see this. Um, when the Albert modified adjective, um, mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't remember. And do you remember, for example, which question can we ask to try I guess to how? Mm -hmm. to to describe um, the W question. 
Mm -hmm. uh, how, when, where, why? Mm -hmm. How much, how often? Um, so, so for the first example, you see there, the woman is quite pretty. Which question of the ones we saw yesterday will give you an answer of the Albert quite? Um, let's see. Who is the who is the woman? How is the woman? Who is the woman? Okay. How? Thank How you. Much? Thanks for that. Who said that? How much pretty is the woman? Is the one how much correct? The... Why are we using how much? Because we're trying to know quanto, how much, right? How mm -hmm. much pretty is the woman? So quite pretty. So as you can see quite there, pretty. this adverb is modifying this adjective, the adjective pretty. pretty. And this adverb quite is giving you more intensity or is giving you uh, emphasizing. emphasizing the adjective. So this is the main topic that we're going to focus on today. So pay attention to that. Here we have one of the main adverbs that modified adjectives. And we have here the first one, extremely. Extremely, those are the main adverbs that modify adjectives. We have extremely, we have quite, we have very, we have really, we have pretty, we have fairly, and we have somewhat. Yes? So we are going to see how do they work. Let me see. For example, here we have extremely. We have an example over there that it says, the water was extremely cold. The water was extremely cold. As you can see there, the adverb extremely is give you an intensity or is emphasizing the action that the adjective is giving you, is emphasizing intensifying the action. It says the water was extremely cold. Do you know what extremely means? Extremadamente. So it will be the water was extremely cold. El agua estaba extremadamente fría. Okay. So as you can see there, the word or the adverb extremely is modifying the adjective call. Yeah. So now let's see what happened with the with the adverb quite. With the adverb quite, we have the example. The movie is quite interesting. Yesterday, I remember that I asked you, some of you, if you knew what was the meaning of the word quite. And someone help me with that. Bastante. Bastante. Muy, muy, muy completamente. Much. O aceptablemente. Si completamente es como, como, como algo que, como algo bastante, digámoslo así, o completamente. En este caso, en this case, and the example we have over, over there that it says the movie is quite interesting, that will be something like, La película está completamente o aceptablemente interesante o muy interesante. Yes? And as you can see there, the adverb quite, it's modifying the adjective interesting. So keep this pronunciation, interesting, because most of the time students, students pronounce it like interesting. But it's not like that. Interesting. We say interesting. interesting. I had a question. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Uh, when you say um, quite, you are referring to un poco. 
I don't know if it, if it is the correct meaning. No, no, no. In this case, quite, it means, it can mean mucho, completamente, o aceptablemente. Okay, the three of them. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. So let's go with the adverb very. The adverb very, we have the example there, and it says, I am or I'm a very loyal friend. So in this case, we all know this word. Very significa muy. We all know it. Since we were at school or high school, when we were at the English class, we used to use, or we, in daily basis, el día a día, casi siempre utilizamos, I am very happy, examples like that, right? So you, you all know this word very. So we have the example yeah. there. I am or I'm a very loyal friend. So you un amigo muy leal. Yes, and the and the adverb very is modifying the adjective loyal. Leal. So let's go with the next one. We have uh, the adverb really. We have the example, he was really happy in New York. Does any of you know what really means? Yes, we know. So the, this really word, it can mean muy as well, or it can means, it can be literally, like realmente. So we can say, he was really happy in New York, and we can translate it as, él estaba realmente feliz en Nueva York, or we can translate it as, Él estaba muy feliz in New York. Both of them are correct because the meaning of really can be realmente or muy. Okay? So let's go oh, to sure. the... Go ahead. Mm -hmm. May I? Um, y podemos decir eh, de veras. Eh, que se puede decir really? Cuando alguien dice really? De veras? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, like that. But that is something really different. Like that is another part of grammar. In this part oh, of good. grammar, the word really is acting as a number. And in that case, it's, yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's, let's continue with that. We have uh, the adverb pretty. Pretty. And sometimes some students get confused with this word. Why? Because this word, it can be an adverb and it can be an adjective, both of them. And how are we going to know that it's an adverb or an adjective? Following the same questions that we saw yesterday and the ones that we saw today. So we, you can ask any of those questions to try to find out if the word pretty is acting as an adverb or as an adjective. But in this case, in this case, we are going to use it as an adverb. Yes, let's go to the example that says, it was a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. And sure. we, go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, it cannot be together, pretty, pretty. She was pretty, pretty. No, <laughs> maybe pretty beautiful or something. Pretty good. It, it, sometimes, sometimes you can see that structure, as you said, Sandra, you can find uh -huh. it on, for example, some websites, like you're surfing on the internet and you can find uh -huh. that, that example or, if you go like reading some books or something like that, you can find it. And it can be uh -huh. kind of confusing because he, if you listen to that, she uh, like pretty, pretty. It's kind <laughs> yes. of confusing to try to, oh my God, do, do they mean the same? But no, remember that uh -huh. when the word pretty is an adverb, it won't mean the same. Because uh -huh. if we're using it as an adjective, it means 
bonita, right? O bonito, depending uh -huh. on, of the subject. Yes. But when we are using it as an adverb, it means muy. Oh, yes. good. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That, yeah, you are right. So, and, and the other thing is that um, when you use pretty, we have a lot of adjectives that can describe better the situation, as, as, as you say. Um, mm -hmm. We can use other words to express that she is pretty, not just <laughs> this word. Correct, correct. So you got to be really careful in trying to find out, for example, when is it acting as an adverb and when is it acting as an adjective? So, but now that you already know how to find out uh, with the questions that you already know, it's going to be a little bit like easier for you. Yes. So we have the example over there that it says, it was a pretty good day. So it will be fundia muy bonito. But something that you have to know is that depending of the intonation you give to this word, you are like, for example, if I say, it was a pretty good day. Like, estoy diciendo que hasta cierto punto fue un día muy bueno. But if I say it was a pretty good day, so I'm telling you, enfocando de que fue algo bastante, muy como un día muy bueno, en el sentido de bastante. I don't know if I'm, right. if, if I'm being clear. Am I being clear? Yes, we have. you are. Okay, are. great. So um, that is the difference or something that you have to be really careful about this Albert Pre. Let's go with the next one. That is fairly. Fairly, that means bastante. This case will mean bastante. So if I have, uh, we have the example over there that it says, Mary is fairly clever. That means... I'm sorry. Correct. We say Mary is fairly clever. Mary Maria is bastante inteligente, right? And as you can see there, the adverb fairly is modifying the adjective clever. Clever. Yes. Clever. Um, eh, pero podría decirse también suficientemente inteligente? No. Because in that case, if we use suficiente, we have the word enough. No. All right. Um, mm -hmm. So, and that's another story. Okay. All right. So, and the last one, this is not that common. It's not a common, not everybody uses it, but you could probably see it when you are speaking with a native speaker of the language, like someone who speaks English, uh, like native, you can sometimes listen to this advert, but it is not that common, but it's only for you to know. So we have the adverb somewhat, that it means de alguna manera o un poco. It is what So if we have the example, somewhat, somewhat, somewhat. that's the pronunciation, somewhat. So, somewhat. In this case, we have the example over there. And it says, uh, in some, it's somewhat cold outside. If so uh, talk, okay. we have the meaning that says, de alguna manera o un poco. It's so cold it, if we said it's, it's somewhat cold outside, it will mean, es, está de alguna manera frío. Afuera. O está un poco frío afuera. Yes? Mm -hmm. so, Question so far. Uh, Question so teacher, far? I have seen, I have seen uh, another, another word that says mm -hmm. somehow. Somehow, yeah, correct. Somehow they have like, it is, how do we call it? It is a synonymous, synonymous of the word somewhat. It is a synonymous, they have pretty much the same meaning, but 
When it comes to adverbs, the only one that we use, it is somewhat, not somehow. Oh. Oh, so keep right. that in mind. When it comes to adverbs, the only one that we're going to use, it is somewhat, even though they are synonymous and they can be used as the same meaning. They can have the same meaning. Thank you very much. Okay. So here we have uh, some, um, some exercises for you. So I will ask some of you, the ones that I see that did not participate that much. We have uh, Mr. Ismael Eliseo, are you there? Hello? Hello? I think he's not there. Let's see another one. Mr. Ricardo, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Ricardo. So I will need your help with the, with the first sentence. The only thing that you have to do is to correct the mistake. As you can see there between parentheses, we have that I want you to create an adverb. So in the first sentence, I need you to find which one is the adverb or which one it is the word that you can um, make an adverb. Do you understand the idea? Hello? Hello? He sent a message. Let me see. Oh, it's okay. Completely understandable. It's okay. So let's see with um, Liliana Melendez. Can you help me with that? She's not here, I guess. Or Charlie. Do not be so shy, guys. Yo no muerto, vea. We're here learning, so do not be that afraid. If you don't make mistakes, you will never ever learn because we always learn by doing mistakes, yes? Sorry, teacher. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Okay, uh, good. Can you repeat the question, please? Oh, I was like, I have this exercise. So I, can, in, the, in your case, Carla, can you help me trying to uh, correct the mistake we have in the first sentence? I need you to find the word that you can there's a little word there, there's a word that you can create an adverb with that word. So I need you to help me with that one, please. Sorry, but I don't got the idea for the first one, but for the second one, uh, I think I got it. Can I complete the second one? Yeah, go ahead. We will, we will see the first one with another person. George, um, George French is perfect. Hey, French is perfect. Sorry, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, while <laughs> while she's, I, I, <laughs> I miss I miss something. Okay, so while she's thinking, let's see, Sandra Raselli, can you help me with the first one? And let's um, see. He is a very good student. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. He is a very good student. 
So can you correct the mistake? Well, uh, because over there that doesn't uh, appear any any adverbs modifying good. So uh, I have to put he is a very good student. I will give you a clue. Le voy a dar una pista a todos. He Do you remember? A lot. Yes, Stephanie, who said that? Yes, the first one is he is a very good student. He studies a lot. He studies a lot. Mm. Le voy a dar una pista, ¿verdad? El día de yesterday, the last slide, la última. Diapositiva que vimos, there was a little chart. There was a chart with some rules about adverbs. So do you remember that part? In that slide, in esa diapositiva, está la respuesta de la primera. So all of you, please. Todos ustedes, todos los que están en la clase, piensen ahorita. La persona que pueda tener la respuesta, I will give you one minute. He is a well I student. Think. Go ahead. Who said that? He is a well student. Mm, he is a well student. You're you're going there. You're close. The first uh, sentences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first sentences is he studied very much. He studies very much. No. You're the girl who. Uh, he is the, a studly, studly, more modificable. L -G. Okay. L -L I will help you. Okay. Why? You're, you're close with those rules. <laughs> those were the rules we saw yesterday. But so I will help you. Okay. The first one it says he's a good student. Do you remember that yesterday, the last slide, la última diapositiva, there were three rules. The first rule said that we add L-Y to most of the adjectives to create an adverb. In the second rule, it said that some adjectives do not change when they become an adverb. And the last rule said that some adjectives change completely when they become adverbs. So, in este caso, la palabra que tenemos ahí, que es un adjetivo, es good. Y cuando la okay, convertimos well. en adverb, se convierte okay. en la palabra well. well. So, well, la respuesta es, well. he is a good student. He studies well. Yes? Do you understand now? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's go with the second one. That it says, George, George's French is perfect. The answer will be, he speaks French perfectly. Perfectly. Porque tenemos el adjetivo perfect al que solo le agregamos L, L, Y, and it will become automatic. It will become automatically an adverb. Mm -hmm. but the, the, but dear, the Seria, my sister is really slow. She is really slow, really. She reads very slowly. She reads very slowly, but it's really nice. Now you're getting the idea. So, what happened with the adjectives part? We have also three, um, three uh, sentences there. We have the first one that it says, I like cars green. 
Can someone tell me what is the mistake in the first one? The order. The order. Who said the order? Yeah, the orders. Me. Green cars. So how would it be? I like green cars. Correct. So it will be, I like green cars. The second one? She is She's happy. happy. Correct. And the last one? A, a tall, tall woman. woman. A tall woman. You see, it's not that difficult. You just have to be concentrated. Because if you are not concentrated, you will don't find any mistake. And it will be easy. So today we will have this practice. We will see if, uh, if we can create a workroom. I will need you to uh, copy this in your notebook if you have a notebook. Okay. I will need you to copy it because we maybe will we work. Maybe we can take a screenshot. Yeah, you can take a screenshot if you want to as well. And uh, uh, we will create uh, breakout rooms so we can work in groups. So you let me know when, when you're ready. I will give you just one more minute so we can finish with this part. You let me know when you're ready, please, all of you. Ready. Great. So I will stop sharing right now and we will go to the breakout rooms that this will be a practice. I will create some groups here. I am going to be checking one of the groups, but this is will this will be randomly. Esto será al azar, bro. You don't know uh, with who are you going to work with, but I will be checking some of you. ¿Qué es lo que quiero que hagan? What, are, what do I want you to do? As you can see there in the presentation, it says, that um, we have the exercise here. So I will try to create, let's see some, uh, there's five sentences. You will need to put the words in the right order and you will need to try to find out if it is an adjective of, or if it is an adverb, okay? Okay. Perfect. Let's go now. It says we have a total of students of 21. It is five. Let's see. Mm, it will be four. 21. Okay, let me see. So in the first group, it will be Claudia, Diana, Erling, Joaquin, Ricardo, and the other ones, Charlie, Eliseo, Katya, Jenny, Vasilia. So let me see. You're going to work with the questions. So let's go to your breakout rooms and please try to work in the sentence I just gave you. I will be there checking some of you. So please try to join now. How is it here, guys? Are you working on the on the sentence?
Please work together, guys. Work together. So I will be checking all of you. Okay. Uh, is we bought a new house. That's correct. I think. Why um, the two or other? New. House. Okay, you guys, we will just have one more minute, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, I know that it was not that much time, but at least if you got one or if you, it will be one, one per group. So I will need one volunteer per group so I can, um, I can verify if their answer is correct. So it doesn't matter if you didn't do, do it all, okay? So I just want one sentence. And one person who is going to represent the groups. Okay. So any volunteer? The groups number five. Okay, go ahead. I always visit my parents, my parents on Sundays. Let me see which which was uh, the the sentence, which one of these ones? It was the last one. Number five. The last one, okay. Repeat it, please. I always visit my parents on Sundays. On Sundays, very good. Was it an adjective or was it an adverb? It's an adverb. And which one, do you know which one it is? Adverb. No, which word? What palabra is the last word? Always. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Another group, please. We are about to finish now. With this, we will finish. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Go ahead. And the first, mm -hmm. the first sentences, mm -hmm. we bought a new house. We bought a new house. Very good. Is it an adjective or is it an adverb? An adjective and the word but. In this case, the word but is el pasado del verbo comprar, es compró. Sí, es un adjective, pero no es ese. Oh, new. Mm, no new. Verbo. New. new. Correct, wow. that is the adjective. Thank you so much. And the last group, I just need one more volunteer. And just one more. Go ahead. 
like me. Mm -hmm. She likes she like the green. What the sentence number two? She likes the green. Yes. She likes the green what? Sweater. The green sweater. Is it an adjective or an adverb? Adjective. And which one is the adjective? Green. Green. Correct. So I just wanted to um, to tell you once one more time. Please keep working on the platform. Okay. Do not yes. stop. You can be working every single day or the way you want, but please keep on working on the platform. So yes. this is gonna be all for today, guys. It was a pleasure for me to see you again, and we will see you until Monday, okay? So it will be until good Monday, night. and good night okay. to you all. Thank I you so much for being here. I have a question. Go ahead, yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Reina. Uh, in Spanish, uh, ¿se ha creado algún grupo en WhatsApp? Yes, we have a group on WhatsApp. Are uh, you are not no. there? No, no. Pues estaba Neither do I. Duda. Okay, let me see. So if you want, give me your full name. Yes. So I will write it down right now. Yes. You, Reinaldo, give me your full name, please. 78422417. No, give me your full name because I'm not the administrator of the group, so I will get in contact with someone else. So, your full name, tu nombre Reynaldo. completo. Uh, yeah. José Reynaldo Juárez Merino. Let me see. Mm. Okay, and the other girl? My name is Carla Rebeca Lima Cáceres. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, I will talk to, uh, with the, with human resources tomorrow. Okay. So they will add you to this group. And uh, I will also, just today in the morning, I sent uh, the presentation of the class we saw yesterday. Okay. But just in case, if you want, I will send it again. So go ahead, Jerry. Este, quería saber si nos puede compartir el material antes de la clase para poder darle seguimiento junto con usted. Sure, I can do that. So let me, uh, so that will be on next Monday. I will do it before the class. So you can be a little bit uh, like, you can know a little bit more about what we are going to see during the class, okay? okay. So okay. thank you so much for that suggestion, Jerry. So I will thank try you, to teacher. do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.